Hello guys, in this video we'll be taking a look at the autosomal DNA results, predicted phenotype, traits, NGD match results of a Kipchak Turk from Kazakhstan. Uh, this is what he is predicted to look like. With my national code, he is predicted to have brown color eyes, snub shaped nose, and black hair. His eye shape is most definitely East Asian. This is why I depicted him with uh, East Asian eye shape here. Uh, with snipper free, he is predicted to have brown color eyes, brown hair, actually not black, but brown, and intermediate color skin. Uh, he's got BH1, partially no blue hepatotype 2, no blue hepatotype 3. He is heterozygous for blue hepatotype 4, which is very interesting because uh, BH4 is sort of this Mediterranean, very rare uh, mutation that's mostly found in the Mediterranean, so it's interesting that he's got this mutation. Uh, he's got one derived variant and Ketol G's variation that has to do with skin color, which is kind of interesting because most East Asians tend to have two, or uh, people of East Eurasian ancestry in general tend to have two derived alleles here. So he's got slightly darker skin tone than what's typical for uh, East Asians, but definitely lighter than what's typical for Sub-Saharan Africans. In drd 2 Pro Frenetin Pro variation, he does not have uh, the European no-go learner mutation, so no decreased risk of schizophrenia, no um, likelihood of being a no-go learner. Uh, he's got normal genotype in this variation of drd 2 unfortunately this variation does not have a pretty name that I could use to refer it to, uh, but very interesting stuff. I think normal here correlates to less dopamine D2 receptors. He's got a2A2 genotype in TAC1 variation, A2A2 leads to more dopamine D2 receptors, so it's, an, it's a normal genotype, whereas A1 tends to decrease the amount of dopamine D2 receptors you got. Um, the implications of decreased dopamine D2 receptors is that it would increase the odds of ADHD, Parkinson's, various other illnesses, and it would decrease the odds of schizophrenia. Here he's got a um, AA genotype in this variation of DRD2. I'm not sure if this decreases or increases the amount of dopamine D2 receptors. I haven't uh, really done my research here. And uh, with Warrior versus Warrior gene in COMT, he's heterozygous for COMT, which means intermediate dopamine levels, intermediate uh, speed at which dopamine is being uh, reuptaken. He's got uh, this genotype in the MAOA gene. By the way, uh, this is kind of similar to the Warrior gene, except it's different, right? So the Warrior gene is about COMT enzyme activity, but this is about MAOA enzyme activity. But MAOA and COMT, they pretty much do the same thing. Both of these enzymes break down dopamine. So you have increased MAOA activity, that means you break down dopamine quicker. Uh, there is less dopamine in your system. This is kind of like the Warrior genotype in COMT. Right, and uh, he's got this genotype in the MTHFR gene, which slightly impairs folate metabolism. This is not the most important variation in MTHFR. This is the most important variation of MTH, uh, uh, MTHFR, and here he does not have any of the risk alleles for uh, decreased e efficiency in processing folic acid. So, probably not a problem for him. Um, this is his genotype in EDAR. He's got straight, thicker hair and increased odds of having shallow shaped incisors. He's got East Asian EDAR. In fact, he's got two copies of East Asian EDAR. This is sort of the exotic blonde hair variation that he's got in uh, TPC and 2 gene. Maybe it's not so rare because I keep seeing uh, various ancient samples from Eurasia with this genotype. Very interesting. I don't know what to make of it. He's got this genotype, which sort of increases his odds of uh, risk disease. Uh, <laughs> heart disease, I'm sorry. Uh, he does not have the European lactose persistence mutation. No surprises here because he's not a European. Uh, he's mostly an East Asian. And he does have the um, lack of empathy or the sociopath gene in OXTR. Uh, very typical genotype for somebody from Eastern Asia. Kind of, you, you will find people with this genotype in Europe and you, you probably will not find people with this genotype in Sub-Saharan Africa. Now, this is what he scores with Eurogenes K13. You can see he's scoring quite a lot of Western components. Like, if you add up the North Atlantic, the Baltic, the West Med, the West Asian, together that's going to be maybe 40%. So, there's a big chunk of him that's West Eurasian. However, the majority of him is not West Eurasian. The majority of him is, in fact, uh, East Eurasian, and he is closest to Shores and Hakas. Hakas, um, I don't know what Shores look like, but Hakas are very... East Asian looking people and he's getting more or less a mixture of Shores plus Uyghur or Hakas plus German so maybe relative to the Hakas he's a little bit shifted towards Western Europeans. This is what he scores with uh, G25. With G25 he is closest to two Balars followed by Shores followed by Kazakhs and Kaz Hakas come at number four, light number four. I don't know what two Balars look like but I'm gonna guess that they look very East Asian as well. 
Uh, this is what he scores with MDL PK16. He's scoring 31% Siberian and 17% Southeast Asian. Also, he's scoring some Australian, Arctic Indian, and Amerindian. All those are East Eurasian components, uh, East Eurasian part of his ancestry. And he is closest to Hakas here with this oracle followed by Kazakhs. And um, he's actually getting more of a mixture of Hakas plus Karakalpak. So it's kind of a mixture of uh, mix plus mix, but uh, there is also Bashkir plus Mongolian. Bashkir are mixed and Mongols are pretty much pure East Eurasian, so you can tell he's more East Eurasian than he is uh, mixed. This is what he scores with Harappa World. I find it interesting that he scores like three or four times more Baloch than he does Caucasian. Uh, very interesting stuff. He does score 18% Northeast European, so he's got some... There's also Mediterranean, so he's got some West Eurasian admixture here too maybe 40%, and he's getting more as a mixture of Altaian plus Northern European or Altaian plus Hungarian. So relative to the Altaians, he's shifted towards Northeast Europeans, nor North Europeans it seems like. Uh, this is what he scores with Pan and LK10. Interesting that he's scoring 5% ASI, 5% Ancestral South Indian. Uh, maybe unexpected here uh, for him to score that. Um, and uh, with the Oracle, he's getting more as a mixture of Hazara plus Selkup or Altaian plus one quarter Bulgarian. So a mixture of Altaian plus some kind of European seems to describe his uh, ancestry pretty well. This is what he scores with ancient Eurasia K6. 54.7% East Asian. The majority of his ancestry in the Paleolithic model is East Asian. And he's getting more as a mixture of Kyrgyz plus various uh, European groups. So... You know, relative to the Kyrgyz, he's a little bit more Western than Kyrgyz are. Still, he is mostly East Asian um, in ancestry. He is more East Asian than he is European. So if you compare him to like Irish versus Japanese, he's going to be closer to Japanese than to Irish. Thanks for watching my video until the end. You can download his raw genome in 23andMe format from link which is in the description. Uh, leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy my content.